These chicks don't even know the name of my band. And now they're on JK like they want to hold hands. They don't know the band, the band. <laughs> One day I want to like read all those names before we start. Army, not Army. You know a few of these names? Army, not Army. I know a few of them. There's some real redeemers in there. Speaking of real redeemers, what's up, Army? Welcome Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. It was. I'm Nick. I'm Zach. And I'm Jerry. Y'all know the the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. I seen the thumbnail. Y'all know why y'all are here. Jean Cook of BTS 7 featuring Lotto dance practice shit. This ain't a practice. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and become a real redeemer today. For more content like this, jump on the Patreon. Statue tiles up on there. Live performances from JK behind the scenes. And subscribe. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, seven shit. No long talk, yo. Let's jump into it. Shout out to JK, number one. Shout out to my Black Kings with them too, dancing. Mm-hmm. It look like it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, 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 I do wonder what studio this is. They probably in LA or something. Hey. It might be New York. That's the, that's the energy you got. <laughs> Hey, 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 seven days a week, hey, <laughs> if she became a head choreo or something, it would have been somewhere else. I would have been a first too. She does, she does dancing in her shows. It ain't BTS level dancing. Right? No one does BTS level dancing. Oh. Cookie had to hold himself back so he didn't show off on these niggas. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this dance needs, you know, like for him to be drawling anyway. She's talking about fucking a girl seven days a week. You know what I mean, he's trying to play it cool. Yeah, make sure y'all jump on the Patreon. Um, it's some exclusive JK stuff up on there. And on the uh, one John, JK was talking about how since Bang said he has such like a great feel and energy for not only singing but also dancing jk said one of his goals or something was to um have like different tracks and different vibes and to be able to make choreo around songs and shit like that too um so it's interesting like you know that statement is interesting too where it's just like i know i can chill on here um and i know i can do something sensual something sexual 
something smooth, yet dope, edgy, and I don't got to do too much, but it's cool. And I thought that's exactly what the dance was. I like the footwork in here. I like the hand movements. I like everything that's going on. The formations are perfectly fine. It has a good bop to it and some great energy to it. It's not doing too little. It's not doing too much. Special. But with that being said, I know how special JK is. I know if he really wanted to draw, he could have fucking been doing a handstand, turn that into a fucking humping the ground and then doing something else. He could have really did something and shit. But I, I like this, man. This is dope. Definitely agree. <clears throat> definitely like how chill it was. Uh, definitely like how he danced over his part in a way and how he just let the beat or song just play out towards the end where he was like, I'm just going to give it all in the beginning. Uh, I actually like this. I like some of the transitions. Is it weird to say like some of the transitions or formation, formations are like BTS-esque? Like he did this because mm-hmm. he had like he already saw this or they he's already been in this predicament where he knows how to move and how the formation should look in certain ways. So I kind of feel like he was a major part in this choreography. He looked like he was smoking that butt on here. <laughs> he chilling. It's so cool. Yeah, I'm a sucker for all this when he got up and it turns into the ah, uh, uh, he's a little extra in the back and then it turned into ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ha, 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 boy got a little spunky. <laughs> that nigga trying to make sure JK pick him up for the next joint and shit. <laughs> he trying to make sure he ain't in the unemployment line. Um, yeah, he feel good. No, I would have to definitely agree with you guys. Um, what I really enjoyed about this is how, you know, there was a lot of, um, like, moments where the intensity was high, but it was still very smooth. Um, I think that's a really nice place to um like a very nice balance of high intensity and and smoothness and coolness um like like zach said excuse me you can tell he has experience with these types of choreos um that's why it just seems so effortless to him i uh i like this cool version of jk you know not saying he wasn't cool before, but now in his solo run, he seems a little more edgier. And I like that. I respect it. The growth. No, I think even JK knows and recognizes that this is, I don't want to call it like the groaner version or like grown up version because, like I said, we've seen him be cool and sexy and everything before, but this definitely feels like a, a more mature step in the evolution of what JK is going to become. She's in New York. New York, New York. That makes sense then, because he did all the good morning stuff over there. I wonder is the recording studio and everything he did was just New York and everything, too. That probably would have made sense and shit, because I'm pretty sure even Lotto would have been doing everything either out of Atlanta or New York, depending on where she was at and everything, too. So East Coast shit makes sense. Now, that's super decent, then. I normally normally seem like they always, like, kind of in L.A. and everything like that, too, outside of when they're doing some of the... Uh, the New York based shows and everything, so that's dope. Um, I didn't, I didn't, I don't think heard anything behind the scenes of who came, who did the choreography, uh, like for this and everything else and stuff. Because our his production and everything was all done over here as well. So I wondered, did he take this opportunity to just do everything here, mm-hmm. um, like choreo, like you know the concept and obviously recording and everything else and shit like that. Um, but nah, this was dope. I fuck with this. Very proud of JK. Um, I think it's still number one, and I think it's the longest uh, like running number one, especially for Korean uh, artists. Uh, so jump in the comments. Give us a little bit more information if we missed out on anything. Also, tell me what y'all have, what y'all think the expectations are for JK's album. And I mean that in the sense of like how many tracks y'all think it is, what do y'all think the album is going to be about, um, and what type of time y'all think he's going to be on. Spoiler, I think it's going to be grown and sexy. Um, I think this is only a peek at what he wants us to get into, and I think he's going to be making some bedroom music, some some more turned up bedroom music. So, yeah, um, jump on the Patreon. I'm about to get into some more stuff other than that, Redeemers. We love y'all. We're going to holler at y'all. Enjoy the rest of the JK video. <laughs> Oh, 